Welcome guys, this is Spike here, and uh, today I'm going to be starting a Minecraft world. Somewhere where I can build a house, build some little games and whatnot, and then get some friends over, and we can all do some bits and bobs. Uh, the world is going to be called... I don't know it's called now. Dreamlands, that's the one. <laughs> uh, it's all going to be in creative, just because I can't bother to mine and do all the little bits because it's just going to be too time consuming <laughs> and I'm lazy to be honest um, I'm not particularly very good with redstone though so I can't guarantee to start with that it's going to be amazing um, but I do basically get free roam to do whatever I want with everything I want and I'm peaceful so I won't get disturbed and I will have a lovely time in the game it's going to be wonderful I think um, but firstly, I need to find somewhere to build what will be the main hub. Uh, so basically the area that I'm going to build my house, and then subsequently other people's houses, and then like the, the railway system, um, and everything like that, really. But I don't know where I'm going to go to do it all. I don't want to do it by the spawn area, because that just makes it very difficult. And also the map is fucking huge, so I could be anywhere. I live by a river though, so I think perhaps this bit here will be perfect for the main hub base. So we'll we'll terraform this first. The plan here is to start off with a council building well, somewhere that all members of the village city, the map effectively, can come and meet, uh, discuss what they're going to do and make life decisions. Uh, it's been a while since I played Minecraft and there's a lot more new things. Dark Oak Door. Acadia Door. Look at this. It's quite a Nazi stuff. Now we'll try and work out what I want to make it out of. I am thinking quartz though, because it's qu gonna be a council building. Although council buildings are generally pretty boring, but I don't want the shitty old cobblestone. Because I've got free roam of everything that I want, so. <laughs> let's make it a quartz. Oh no, don't the iron. Yeah, let's go for just quartz. Just quartz. And quartz block. That works for me. And some slabs. I'm sure I want those as well. Now how do I want this to look? Let's have a look. Well, we're going to want the pillars to be the doors. So we'll probably have four doors. That will go into the middle. And have like a table. Perhaps. Uh, right. So. Chiseled would be the outside. I would have said. How big do we want it? So we have four, and then we have two doors in there. We'll be fine. Two, four. Would this be big enough? I don't know. Um. Well, oops. Oh no. One, two, three, four. Uh, two for doors. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Two doors. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Is that going to be big enough? I don't know if it is. I think it will be. It'll be enough room. Don't want it to be too tight, do you? But I might want a staircase in here, so I might want this a little bit bigger, I think, actually. But something doesn't look right still. Because it's not. There's four there, and there's only three there. We'll make it bigger first, though. Now I've basically got the outline of the building itself. I'm trying to work out how many floors I need. Whether we're just going to need the one where we will congregate and discuss matters, or 
or if I'm going to want some up or some down. I'm thinking I probably have some down, and because they're probably a lot useful for storage, for example. Um, but I don't know how many levels down I want to go. Or whether we'll just go down one and make it very wide, or just go directly down. I'm thinking I will probably just go down and make it very wide. And with regards to levels up, I'll probably just only have the one level and one above it perhaps with some beds um, and then the rest of it will just be an ornate building but I don't know how I'm going to design that quite yet because I don't want to be doing hit from here now this is pretty boring I know as it is just a four sided building that's fine but then the floor will be there the next floor will be on this one here so we'll probably make that out of do, 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 do. let's make that out of Acadia planks, but we're also going to want a ceiling on the other roof. So, we have got let's make emerald ceiling for this room here. Very ornate. Although, we're going to want it higher, aren't we? Let's be honest, we are going to want it higher. Try here to make this look not shitty, but um, I'm not sure it's going to work. <laughs> I'll be honest. But I want to, be able to see it from some sort of distance. So if you're a little bit away from it, you can actually see. Although I'm not sure how far away you will be able to see it. The plan is effectively to make this top bit like a s ball as such there's going to be quite a lot of work involved in doing this I'll tell you that now the plan to have all of this covered in glowstone. My god, what have I got myself in for? <laughs> so you know, I've been trying to do this a little bit here for about half an hour and I keep fucking it up so I think to do the time in the middle I'm going to need to start from the middle and work out but I need to work out where the middle is <laughs> which is quite frustrating uh, there I think no I think I think it's fucked up again. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's the middle. That's the result. We'll extend this up. A long way, long way, long way, long way. And then I think we're going to have to branch out from here rather than try and work from the sides in. Work from the middle out, most probably. I think it's probably what I have to do. So what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm doing this. Right, I'll be totally honest with you guys. Um, 
I did some of this. This is, I suppose, this is technically an episode two, um, because I did some of it yesterday. Got bored. Uh, originally said my goodbyes and thought I can't leave it out there. It's just shit. So today I thought I'd come back on this and do some. And I also didn't talk that much yesterday, and I think I'm now going to be using this at some point that I can rant <laughs> and moan and I don't know, try and get some sort of frustration out. Not that I'm frustrated. <sighs> I, uh, right. Okay. Here's the thing. In this country, in the UK, we appear to have brought this culture something called banter. Which is terrible. The idea of banter, it fucking fumes the life out of me. It's just... What? It's just banter. I've just been banter. Oh, just be banter, effectively, is bullying. Let's be honest, right? Regardless of how you look at it. Oh yeah, it's just banter. It's just... Someone's way of going... Of, of an excuse that they can use to pick on somebody. I'm not saying it's happened to me, but it just appears to happen more and more so in this country now. Something happens. Oh, just, it's just banter, mate, in the pub. Oh, yeah, or you're... Someone laughs at something, and you're like, well, that's not really a fair. I oh, just banter. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you... Fucking just grow up. Why would you... Banter is just not fucking... No. It's a terrible word. Why do we... Who designed the word banter? It's like the same way who designed the word... Uh, YOLO. It's just fucking how... Things like that. What what point in your life did you decide that you needed to fucking shorten something down that wasn't that difficult to say anyway? I, just, I don't know. YOLO. YOLO. What the fuck is that about? You... Uh, yeah, okay, I know, what, I know what it means. Don't need to tell me you, YOLO means you only live once. But at what point did someone go, Oh, I know, I'm going to shorten you only live once. How often was this person using you only live once? Are they, are they living by the fact... Okay, you can live by the fact that you only live once. Yes, this is true. This is how you should live your life. But what point made you say, oh, I, can't, I can't be bothered. My life is too short to be going... Oh, you only live once. I need to go, YOLO! What, what the fuck? But then the problem with doing that is you then have to explain YOLO. So you spend the, your life explaining YOLO to someone, or, or any other word. Why would you bother? You're wasting your life, so you're not living once, because you're having to ex describe the word you try to, try to use to break down what you were trying to do. So you're trying to save time by telling, saying YOLO, but then you're not saving time because you have to explain it to people. Why would you... <laughs> I don't things like that. I don't understand why you would make up shortens anagrams or whatever the fuck. Not anagrams. Why would you shorten? I can't remember what the fucking word is now. Why are you bother doing it? I just get good vocabulary and just fucking go back to school and just say the words. The English language is a brilliant language. Let's be honest. We have. 50 million... I don't know how many words you have. Okay. <laughs> we have lots of words for different things, different meanings, and they do different things, and you can change any word to mean various things. I mean, you could say bear, and it would mean three different things, for example. There, and four different things. And so, why would you want to... <laughs> Language is a great thing. Some of us don't use it very well. Don't talk it very well. I'm, I'm not saying I'm the great person of using the English language, but at least I have some sort of knowledge and understanding. I get a bit excited sometimes and I, I, I muddle, so you go, exactly, muddle my, my words up, but I don't think I've really, I'd, if I'm texting somebody I will never ever use text speak or anything like that, it's just, it's just lazy. When when do we get to a point that we were everybody had to be lazy? I don't understand. You become so lazy you can't be bothered to talk anymore. What you went to school for fuck's sake? Why are you not using the, everything that you were learnt, you were taught 
in your day-to-day -day life? What? It's just... What? <laughs> At what point did you decide that you need to go... In it. In it. Oh, that's such a... In it. Such a... <laughs> bruv. Who uses bruv? Come on. What? I don't know. I suppose it's just brother the same as saying mate. I just don't understand, or buddy. But I don't know. It just it just doesn't make any sense to me. Brother is obviously a, a slang for brother. Well, I'm sure some days no brother, but it's not even spelled the same. B R U V. How does that? I just really bruv. Why would you call someone bruv they, if they're not your brother? What? I don't, I don't understand that concept. If they're your, if they're your friend, they're your friend or your mate or your buddy. Just, I don't understand it. Maybe I don't know. I'm only 26 years old. Why am I ranting and moaning about language? Language is a good thing. It adapts and moves, and I understand certain words like come in because they use more and more but certain things like shortened versions YOLO and I just say it's terrible now because I can't think of anything. We had this the phase of what um LMFAO wasn't it and LMAO and whatnot. But that's all text video but there's just no need for it really. <coughs> At what point was somebody writing a text message for example or uh, MSN messenger when it was around and saying oh I'm l laughing out loud which is uh, if you didn't know obviously lol means laughing out loud at what, what stage did you was you writing laughing out loud I, what was wrong with the old the, the smiley face like the d smiley face but that surely went the same thing I, that's that's Easier than L okay, I suppose L O is exactly like two letters next to each other, but I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. It's like a grumpy old man situation, isn't it? I think I'll probably end up using Minecraft as like a ranting session. Something I can just uh, clear. Oh, fuck. I certainly pass at the time. <laughs> oh, far am I going with this? Fuck me. Actually, and going back onto that, in fact, there was one thing that I really hate, and I think a lot of people would agree with me on this. It's when you're trying to get attention from somebody, or someone's to trying to grab your attention, rather. People whistle at you. That has got to be the most annoying thing. And the rudest thing in the world, I think. Well, well, one of the rudest things. Why would you whistle? I'm not a fucking dog. Why would you whistle at somebody? to get their attention. What? I just... So... Like, don't you fucking dare do that to me. I'm not your fucking dog. <laughs> don't you fucking do it. I've always said this. If anybody ever whistles at me, I ignore them. Ultimately, we'll always ignore them. It's just plain rude. Show me some respect, you know? There's no stage that I would whistle at anybody else. Uh, just... <sighs> I work in a business where manners appears to not exist. 
in it's it's wrong unfortunately so uh, don't get me wrong there are some people who use us and are, are within what I do are have good manners and polite and I'm, I'm fine with those other people use any type of bad manners to me and you're just rude I'm instantly not interested in you and you are it's terrible that I'm going to say this but you will get guaranteed a bad service or well, not bad service you will get a disinterested service you won't get as good a service as if you was polite to me I won't try and have a conversation with you <laughs> basically I'm quite a talkative person and I will talk shit with anybody should I need to and whatnot. But if you are not going to show me any respect, I'm not interested in you. That goes from every, anybody, really, to be honest. Every level. What's that over there? Nah, it's just lava. Oh my god, that thing is fucking huge. <laughs> It looks ghastly as well at the moment. Uh, it's gonna look ghastly, I think, for stop. Uh, just I think I've got an opinion on pretty much most things. I, d I, d I left right today, I was a little bit angry. I was like, I need to fucking rant at somebody or something, and I thought, this is the ideal, I need to do some stuff on this. I'm going to just. Turn the microphone on and rant to myself effectively. Because <laughs> nobody can argue with me and no one can disagree. <laughs> I'm always going to be right. I have something else now. Before I came on and did this, hang on. Before I came on and did this, at about 15 minutes ago. I had a text message from somebody, I was just setting up, I had a text message. Uh, the, the, the information in the text message is... The details in the text message are completely irrelevant, it doesn't matter to the story. And pretty much, I text, I know a lot of people are going to agree with me with this. And there'll be a lot of people who agree, and there'll be a lot of people on the other side who will say, well, it doesn't really, really matter. But there, I guarantee that 95%, if not more, will agree with me with this. In the sense that you text somebody, or somebody texts you, sorry, you, you can pretty much text them back instantly. I don't know, 10 seconds maybe? At, at most 10 seconds. And you think, okay, I, that's fine, yeah, you'll get a message back. Because you, they ask you a question, you answer it, yada yada yada, and you'll, you'll, you'll include another message or another question in there or something. And then in that 10 seconds, it's like. They've been eaten by a crocodile or something, or they've fallen off the edge of the world because they just fucking don't even reply. The worst bit about this one is that this person has actually got red messages at arm. So, you, on an iPhone, obviously you can turn it off the fact that you uh, ha you show your messages being read. This person has not done this. Um, so, I know that they've read the message, um, but they haven't replied. So, they messaged me first, they instigated the conversation, this this, this conversation in this sense, uh, I've responded with a, with a response, and I've got nothing back. It's like going, I don't know, going out with your friends, uh, having a conversation with someone, so you you, you ask them a question like, oh, mate, how have you been for the past week, yeah, how's, how's the kids, how's the whatever, yeah, yada yada, and then, like, then wandering off, perhaps, going up, and then just wandering off somewhere, and then not getting back to you, and you, you literally just ask the question that they're sat next to you. It's it's so rude. Well, I don't understand. What? How? How do people do? Why? You asked me, the you instigated the initial conversation. What? What are you doing now? Why? At what point did you like stop deciding? That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Lots of things don't make sense to me. The people's mentality. That's that's the problem. 
why have you would not like me? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying, by the way. I just don't understand certain people's mentality and... We're all... Yeah, without sounding too philosophical. We're all here for the same means and the same... Effectively, goal. Which is just to get by in life and to be... To do what we want to do and... Enjoy it, really. Don't we? Nobody, nobody wants to... Not enjoy life and... Have fun. What? Why are you making it difficult for other people? What? I don't understand. People are there to help you and to talk to you and do whatever. Yet, I don't know. People don't bother using the, the tools and the knowledge, the knowledge, the knowledge that they've been given. Because I'm looking for a certain word and I, I know it's on the tip of my tongue but I can't think of it. By the way, if you didn't know, this is meant to be a council building, or my council building. So you know where the main hub is. This is where everything is going to be, to start with. So the houses will be here, and... I don't know what else will be here. <laughs> everything will stem from here. All my decisions will be made from here. This thing is fucking huge. <laughs> I'm not sure I can delight this now, actually. <laughs> well, you can see it. It does look like a fucking pyramid. So obviously it is, but... My god. <laughs> there are people looking at this going, I would not do that. Not to make that piece of shit. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Seems good at the time. Very ironic because it's very ironic because um yeah, it's very ironic because underneath here it's dark, although this is fucking closed down, so surely this should be light. <laughs> Oh my god, look at the inside. Oh, that is fucking nasty, that is, isn't it? Oh, that'd give you a headache. <laughs> so, this is where we're going to go in, I believe, wouldn't it? Because I'm pretty little crime. It's only Monday today as well. <laughs> 
I've got lots of other things that I need to record. Yeah, guarantee. <laughs> that. I'm going to be on here ranting. My other games are going to be ranting as well, I expect. I'm sort of like, by the way. <laughs> welcome to the world of my inside. No, welcome to the inside of my head. What the fuck am I doing here? What is going on? That's right. Fucking twat. trying to work out now uh, where I'm actually going from here how I'm going up and around and whatnot. I think I probably will just come out from here and then go up otherwise it's going to fucking go right to the floor I don't want it to go right to the floor I don't know Fucking up, and now I've worked it out. I think what I'm doing. I think. Yeah, I believe so. I just kept looking wrong to start with. Now I'm actually working it out what the fuck I'm doing. So this will just run up to that. That's fine. The rest of that has been del deleted, destroyed, terraformed. I don't know if the terraform is the correct word. Demolished. That's probably the right word. Actually, <laughs> whilst I'm on a 
tangent off. Uh, we got off tangent again now. In this country, we are very much, well, in the UK, obviously, we are very much for cycle lanes. Everybody needs to cycle, cycle, cycle. They're all trying to push cycling and all that bullshit and trying to keep yourself fit and whatnot. So I haven't got a problem with cycling because I, I, I myself cycle to and from work occasionally, not every day, occasionally. But I, only, I'm a, I come off a casual cycler, cycle, cycler. So I wear my work clothes. I don't cycle. I don't have any. I don't go fast or anything. I just, I, I, not trap. I, I only cycle because it's quicker sometimes than than driving. I, I can drive. I do drive to work sometimes if I can't bother to cycle. But it, it takes about the same time, depending on traffic, to cycle as it is to drive. It saves me a bit of fuel, a bit of money. So for a nice day, I'll cycle. That's not the point. We have cycle lanes in this country where cyclists are supposed to cycle in certain points. These, these can be either on the road uh, or on the pavement or somebody else, somewhere else. Like a specifically designed lane. Um, but most, more than more times than any, they're, they're actually on the pavement. They're signposted, uh, so they've got a little blue circle. Um, with a cycle lane, with a cycle, with a bicycle, and uh, p two pedestrians, I believe, underneath them. Is it all see without where they are around? I can't remember. But, but cyclists seem to be blind to this, and they d have this. I don't know. I know that a lot of people will agree with this, and a lot of people will disagree with me. The cyclists will probably disagree with me because obviously cyclists hate everybody. Um. I'm okay with this. There. They don't seem to use the cycle lanes. So the government and the, uh, the councils will spend thousands of pounds. Something's up right here. There. The councils will spend thousands of pounds on building cycle lanes and whatnot and they'll try and publicize them on the roads themselves they'll even put a sign from so, so you're supposed to cycle on, on the road and then they'll put a sign which points them off the road onto the pavement so that you've also then got two lanes so you've got a pedestrian bit and a cycle lane which is good it's very good because th these are generally on narrow roads where this could be a danger if a car or lorry or anything else goes past you. Now these cyclists, generally the cyclists that do this are those in the fully clad lycra. Who? Uh, the, why? Why would you be doing? Why would you be wearing fully clad lycra? Uh, do you think yourself sexy? Uh, you're not in a fucking race. You're just in fucking Portsmouth. You know? Just that doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you? And then. Th I'm not saying this is right, but you'll get some people who go past them and they give them, they'll, they'll toot at them and or shout abuse at them or something. It's not right at all. But if you fail to follow the rules that you've been given, like follow the road effectively, then you deserve it. It's, in my opinion, it should be legal or you, you should legally, if you're there's a cycle lane and you're a cyclist. You should have to use the cycle path. It's basically the same. It's like a kick in the fucking teeth for us. So we as drivers have to pay for obviously emissions and tax. And I can't see taxes and emissions, sorry. MOTs and insurance to keep ourselves on the road legal. Like road legal, basically. Bikes, on the other hand, can just pick up a bike and go, that's fine. But the least they could do is follow the, the laws of the road and perhaps use the lane that they didn't pay for. Okay, as a taxpayer, they have done. But use the, 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 the road that they, they, okay, they, they have paid for. Just fucking use it. The, the special lane that's designed for yourself 
and cycle in. Use the tracking thing. Why, why would you not use it? It's there to protect you. And yet you want to risk your life by riding on a road next to lorries, cars, everybody else who uses the road. And, there is that. What? and then they'll come to a, a, a red light. I don't, I don't need to stop the red light. The red lights mean nothing to them. They'll just go straight through. Same with pedestrian crossings and zebra crossings and pelicans and everything like that. Now, just keep going. I'm not going to stop. Fuck the, fuck the pedestrians. Fuck everybody else. It is literally, they are cyclists are a law unto themselves. I'm guaranteed now I'm going to get a bundle of abuse from some people from this. But not dissing the cyclists. I haven't got a problem with cyclists who follow the rules and use cycle lanes. Don't give me what I have it. Because like I say, I cycle myself. But I follow the fucking rules. I wear a helmet. Because. Why would you not wear a helmet either? It's for your own safety. There are there are lots of things wrong at the moment in this country, especially. Because cycling without a helmet isn't a legal requirement. While riding a motorbike, you have to have a helmet. And they're trying to police the fact. Obviously, come next month, October that you can't smoke in the car with anybody under the age of 18. I don't smoke, doesn't affect me. But, and I, I do agree with it to be honest. However, how are you going to police that? Why, why are you doing that rather than doing the helmets? The cyclists have to wear helmets as well. Why would you not? It doesn't make any sense. Oh yes, you can't smoke in the car. You're on your own private property, you can't smoke. The vehicle that you own yourself we're banning you from smoking in, in your car, but we're not going to stop like selling cigarettes because that's obviously brings in too much money via tax. The next thing will be you can't smoke in your own house; it will be outside. But uh, the problem is, how are they going to, t t to police the fact that people are going to be smoking in their car with kids? How, how does that work? Oh yeah, there's a police car behind you. Is that person that person smoking? Have they got a child in there? Oh, I don't know. Can't tell. Because they're in the baby seat, which is behind, you can't see. It's just a waste of police time. They're taking away police officers from the from the streets and whatnot. The, the bobbies and the beat, as they call them. How are you? The next thing you just might oh, you're, you're going to ban smoking with other children. Which, if you've got children, you you ban you ban them, ban smoking. How is it going to work? How are you, how are you going to police it, this? It's it's bollocks. Get the priority straight. Get people's safety straight. Okay, the children haven't got any scent. They haven't got any. They got any say in it. it. It's down to the parents. The parents are obviously the ones causing the, the harm to the child's lungs and things. And the cyclists, I suppose, are the ones that's causing the, the harm to themselves. But the the problem is that if a car or something else or a vehicle hits into the cyclist, instantly it'll be the the, the person who's owning the vehicle's fault. Always. If the cyclist dies, it's then down to mass loss because you're they'll be down to oh yeah, you won't drive with Drew drive with Drew Core and Drew Care and Yeah, Drew Care and attention. It's like bollocks. The fucking cyclist wasn't wearing a helmet. If he cracks his cranium open and fucking dies, then why is it my fault? He swerved, he fucking fell into me. Why why is that my fault? I don't understand how how I would get blamed or that thing looks fucking horrific. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> I think I'm ranted over now. As a result. To be honest. I want to try and get the outside done before and then do part two as the inside.
Doesn't that look um how far can I see it from? If I go back here. Fucking miles. So if I'm over here. Mapless. Oh uh, well, I might be able to work it out. I can sit down, yeah. Just so I see the camera angle of it. You can't see it from here. There it is. Oh my god, that thing is fucking it's good, doesn't it? <laughs> and we'll build the houses around it. Oh my god. That's guaranteed to change in the future. <laughs> well, that's currently the um, the building exterior done. Next job is obviously going to be internal. Well, that's quite cool. That's not intentional. So this, yeah, that's next area done. Now we'll come back on part two to do the interior. Thanks for listening to my and watching. I'm also listening. To be honest, I think on this one you can just listen <laughs> to my rant. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that I'll be another one. <laughs> I have been been Swalik. Don't forget to like this video. Probably dislike it more like, um, depending on your how you feel about the views. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can get more of me ranting. Um, cheers, guys. I'll be back again soon. <laughs>